Julian, we know you're a familiar face with most Wanderers fans, but tell us a bit about your new role and how it came about. Um, well, it was just uh, I was just uh, in the academy office in the summer. Um, it was the Friday before uh, the first team we went up to Scotland on the on the Sunday. Um, I got a call into the manager's office and he he said, "Listen, um, we're a coach short. I, I haven't got that many players at the moment. I'm going to spend a lot of time talking to agents and players and, and representatives." Uh, would you come up to Scotland with us? So, jumped to the chance, uh, went up there, enjoyed myself, and I've been there ever since. Looking forward to the weekend's game at Ipswich. How are the lads going into that one? Still in a confident frame of mind? Yeah, um, belief is a massive thing in the game. Uh, belief and, and confidence. Uh, we probably need to believe in ourselves a little bit more at the moment. Um, it seems to be taking until half time to before we, we actually believe and have a real goal in the second half. Um, so we can instil that in the first half and have a, have a right good go, uh, then uh, hopefully we'll come away with three points. It's been a while since the last win. Looking at the start of the season overall, it has been a good start to the season, but is it perhaps time to kick on and get, get a run going again now? Um, you can always say that. That's, that's championship. The championship's ups and downs. Uh, I mean, beginning of the season, everyone was patting each other on the back saying, well done, look at us, we're third in the league. Now all of a sudden, after, after two or three games, people go, oh no, here we go again. So, um, take the rough through smooth, hopefully there's a lot more wins than there are defeats. Uh, and and uh, say Saturday's hopefully a, a time when we'll uh, get one of those, those wins.